it's so important for people to understand, even people that are aspiring to be in a place, that you're fine. Understand that it's okay mm. because everything is not what it seems. Mm. And you really don't know people's situations for real. When you're looking at pictures and videos of people and what they choose to let you see, mm. it's not the same as what's happening all day, every day. Talk to them. So I just, you know, it's really important, especially for aspiring actors or musicians or just people getting into the entertainment field. Uh, it's very important to realize that, like, yes, you can have uh, someone as uh, maybe look up to them and their work or things that they've been a part of, but don't think that it's so far from you. Mm. Like, that's what I learned. That's what I really learned. Like, God really showed me that, like, Things can really happen like that. Are you ready for it? Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Nice. The, no, my, the, the Gemini's. You on the cups, though, so like. I am. I I'm a cancer like, cuss. Right. I don't know if, like. Don't but know I'm a day before the last day. Yeah, but like you borderline cancer, Gemini's. Yeah, like, I am. You're not really Gemini I'm not as game. crazy as you. <laughs> nah, you might be worse. You might be worse, though. <laughs> cancer? I'm going to say why. Cancer's so chill, emotional. I love cancer, but as a Gemini, what well, people what people always try to deny, we are super emotional. Absolutely. So a Gemini mixed with a cancer, <laughs> oof, I don't oof, know. It's a lot of emotions. Oh my gosh, yeah. I don't know how. Yeah. How do you okay. do that? But before we get to all that, <laughs> man, it's birthday month. Meditate. Uh, June 20th, you about to be outside. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, to the Gemini. To the Gemini. Gang, gang, Cheers gang. Cheers to all the Gemini. Are we recording? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Cheers to the Gemini. <laughs> Make sure mama's gonna get some, please. Mm -hmm. Um, and we got some, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna double cup the right way, and I don't mean by two cups. We're gonna we gonna have two cups. Oof. Two separate cups. Let's get it. You see what I'm saying? Gemini's are like, you see what I'm saying? You yeah. already starting up. It's it's a vibe. I I know you got the nails, but do you wanna do the honors? Can you? No. No. You can do it. I got you, yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, I ain't know. Oh, I got you. Let's get it popping. Happy birthday. Soraya is in the building. <laughs> Let's get it. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. Mm. Look, this is how we starting off the show, man. Um, Woo! Yeah. 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 That's yeah. the best right there. Yes, sir. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to pull you first. Come on. Okay. I'm going to take that on a little bit. Yeah. Gotta get, you know what you're doing in the game with bit. the little tail. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah that's right. great. Get you right. Thank you. This is how you really double cup. Two cups. <laughs> Um, I mean, why not? Hey, um, MJ, can you uh, wipe this off a little bit? Wash this off a little bit so mom just can get something to you? Uh, Wait, are you from party? Baltimore? Yeah. <laughs> How you know? The two. <laughs> ah, cut it out. Cut it out. Please. The two. Please. The two always gives y'all up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even if you're trying not to. Even so, if you're trying not to. Two. Two. I feel like everybody said it the same way. Two. 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 Oh, so you just Curfew. said it. Cur no. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same. Yo, so Curfew. I want to talk to you. How, how, what's going on? How are you feeling? Well, first, cheers. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Gang, you already know. You know. Happy birthday, belated. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm feeling great. And, I, and I, I'm such an alcoholic. I, I chase it with more liquor. So, yeah, what's going on? How you feeling? Like, what's what's your energy on? T uh, vibe check. What's, tell me. What's going on? How you feel for real? Vibe check. Mm-hmm. I feel amazing. I'm super grateful. I'm in a space where this year, like we were just talking, I don't know if that was on camera or off, but it's been an emotional few years. Mm -hmm. I think, I mean, obviously for the whole world since COVID and stuff. So I don't know about you, but COVID made me very, very 
introspective on my mm. life and a lot of things that are going on. So this year, I feel like a new leaf has turned, and I'm mm. super excited. I'm really excited for my birthday, and that hasn't been the case for a few years, to be honest. So I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm loving this new space I'm in, and it could just be maturity and getting over those growing pains. But what was the growing pains? I'm curious. I don't more. know. Just, just a lot of things like I. Like you, I don't know if you know much my story, but me, like when I um, graduated high school, uh, you know, a year later, then I got Empire. Then it just was like nonstop. Yeah. And 2020 is when our last season of Empire. And yeah. then we went into COVID. And it was the first time me sitting down since I was 19 and just kind of going over a lot of emotions from childhood, just a lot of things you know, just kind of going within myself. Mm. And um, there was nothing else to do but that during COVID. So that was just that time. And so now I feel like, you know, there's just been a lot of uh, personal growth. So this year is, this year has been pretty amazing. What was the biggest uh, part of the growth for you? What was the, the what, what was the part where you grew the most if you had to look at it? Ooh. Um, I would say in this past year, well, 2023, 2022, 2023, yeah. I would say in this past year, I would say just um, submitting. Mm. Just just not having goals but not having expectations, being being open to what is, what is coming my way type of thing, yeah. which is hard to do when you're a super motivated person. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. you have goals and like every day that's all you think about whatever you're doing um but this year i truly have been working on just living in the moment and being present and just submitting to what's for me that's so crazy because usually when we hear submitting of course we hear s woman submitting to a, oh, man, to a man of course right yeah but the fact that you said that far as and, and, and that's in life. you said what yeah, yeah, that, but that's, <laughs> no, that's a fact. No, that's a fact. But it's like it's crazy because sometimes you gotta submit. There's so many other things to, to submit to. Absolutely, God. I mean, yes. I don't know where you are with that, but yeah, God, I agree. right? <laughs> Life itself, right? Yeah. Because sometimes you gotta be able to sit back and just be like, you know what? I can't do anything about this. God, it was a, it's a scripture. You really, you can do. Yes. God grant me serenity to accept the things I cannot yes, change. Yeah. The courage to change the thing I can, but the wisdom to know the difference, right? Mm. That's life. So when you say submitting and just in, in life in general, it's like, to God's that's the will. conversation that people need to be having, though. Absolutely. Because there's so many things we want to do as creatives, as and people. And you can. And can. <laughs> you can't. No, you can. In fact, no, you can, for sure. But just maybe it's not right now. Come on, you're talking now. You know what I'm saying? Come on. And like, the more that you really, I feel like, meditate on that, it's like if you look around, some of these things are within your willpower. Some of the things you are doing, hence the space we're in now, and I'm sure you have your own goals. Mm. Um, Wait, I'm sorry. Hey, can we get her a cup for that? And like, come on, man, we gotta get her a cup for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She need a cup for that. That's for, for the champagne. We all double cupping. It's okay. Okay, okay. Are we outside then? Hey, hey, we outside. Oh, then? you like? Oh, you want the bubbles in that one? Yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all good. They don't know. They don't know. But yeah. Um, no, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, so that's just, that's been, um, you know, that's the space I'm in. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm happy that you're in that space. I know even, even it's going. It's hard as a creative. I was about to say. It's so hard. Even in that space, looking back <laughs> on it, like, man, I came so far. But even in that space is so hard right there. Because now really you're is. accepting it. Yeah. And accepting it is a whole nother, that's hard. But celebrating yourself, mm. that's a part of it. Right. Once you're once you begin to celebrate yourself for the things you have done and where you are and the growth and the things that you have accomplished, then you can stop worrying about what you don't have. Mm. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Ain't it because so you're always gonna want more. Come on. There's always something more. Talk. It, it is. It just really is. It is. And it's crazy because we talk about being creatives and we got to add social media to it, right? And being an actor, you got to add just what comes with that. And a lot of people see the the glam of it, right? Mm -hmm. The good, the ups of it, but they don't see the downs of it, right? Because now, shit, you on TVs and now it's expectations of yourself now, right? Right. I was just on one of the biggest, let's go back to before 2020, right? 2017. Yeah. Okay. I'm on one of the biggest TV shows, if not the biggest TV show. What show? You. 
Oh, me? Right, oh, right. I thought you were talking about no, you. I'm no, like, no, what no, show no, is this? This interview okay. is about you, right? Okay. So, like, I'm on one of the biggest TV shows, mm -hmm. Empire, right? Mm -hmm. But people don't under, they don't see the flip side of it when I come out. It's like now my expectations, the bar is set now. Yeah. It's like grand opening, and it could be grand closing, closing if I let it. If I let it, yeah. People don't see that part, though. Yeah. That had to, that had to bring another level of stress to you. Like that man. was a hard that was a hard transit that happened during 2020 and 2021 when we was locked in the house, which was like a lot of the conversations, interviews, talks, people talking around me was, um, what are you doing next? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go there. Um, what are your plans? Um. Like, how do you feel about, you know, so many actors and actresses being on big TV shows, hit TV shows? Um, and they, in, in, in interviews, they're, and this is no shade to anyone because it's a valid question. Um, are you scared to be typecast? Are you scared to, uh, you know, basically be left a lot of a lot of teenage actors are left where they were mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. um that's a lot to digest and i wasn't really prepared for that at that time because i'm like well first of all i don't know what i'm doing next mm. then COVID happened so nobody's doing nothing um and it was a big transition to get people to see me outside of that character and a lot of work mm -hmm. to do that Yo, even if we can pause for a second and stay right there, right? Even you said something that was so powerful that I, I kind of hate. I'm growing out of it because I was doing it to myself a lot. But coming out of power, again, one of the biggest TV shows, if not the biggest TV show mm -hmm. on, on... Empire. I mean, Empire. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I apologize. That wasn't shade. You know what? <laughs> that happens <laughs> so much. That wasn't shade, bro. I promise. Shout That's going to look like shade. That's going to look like shade. It. Did I say that twice? I said that's why. No. Okay, okay, no, okay. Oh my god, that's going to look like shade. That wasn't shade. I swear to God. <laughs> All right, so coming out of one of the biggest TV shows, right, mm -hmm. Empire, and and people instead of people congratulating you, right, you, I'm pretty sure you had people congratulating you. Absolutely. People are asking what's next, and it's like, yo, first of all, can we say like, yo, shout out to a great season to a to to like a great show I just yeah. accomplished, right? right? And it's like I'm pretty sure that happens when I don't know when other accolades come. Absolutely. I'll drop a great a big interview and people like. Yo, that's fire. What's next, nigga? I don't know. I just, <laughs> I just dropped just this. this. Like, go watch it. <laughs> this shit was hard as hell to do. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's next? Like, come yeah. on. Have some fucking respect. Respect. <laughs> right, right. Put like, some respect on my name. <laughs> like, so, like, I, f I feel that when you say that. Yeah. So, so, let's dive into your life a little bit. You was playing ball. You had hoop dreams. For <laughs> no. <laughs> but, yeah. You, no. you ain't have hoop dreams. You had dance dreams. Yes, you had dance, which man. I which I do all the time. You still you still doing? I still dance. Yo, absolutely. how how was it dancing in L.A.? Um, well, you know what? I never wanted to be a dancer, but I am a dancer. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be a dancer as a profession is different from like I love to dance, but I want to be the artist. Um, okay. So I can say that it's probably very competitive. I feel like dance is very competitive. Um, you know and the best of the best get chosen for, for their talent and what they're good at uh, for different artists, depending on, you know, what they do. Plays, if they're dancing for artists on tour, or if they're just, you know, dancing in the in the studios. I'm very familiar with the whole world. I grew up, you know, I went to Millennium when I was young. This is a very popular dance studio, dance studio in L.A. Mm -hmm. yep. um, so I've seen it all. Um, but I can't say that I've lived a dancer's life to to kind of comment on that. Okay, so far as that though, right? Did you get any pushback when you were dancing in the beginning, right? When you was doing your artist thing, you was dancing, and people were like, eh, maybe you shouldn't dance, maybe you should just. No, no. I never got pushback on my dancing, um, but on on a lot of things, yes. Mm, like what? On. Um, just different opportunities that you want. You just don't always, that you audition for. You don't mm. always get everything you audition for. You know what I mean? For whatever reason. And I remember at a very young age, actually, let me, as a dancer, when I was, how old was I? Eight? When I did Sonic audition? How old was I? Seven, eight, nine? I was eight when I auditioned for the Sonic Seattle Seattle Sonic dance team. I don't mm -hmm. know. They had this, like, it was a bunch of kids auditioning, maybe, like, 100 kids. 
and I did not make the cut. I mm. I made a couple rounds, but I didn't make the cut, and I cried all the way home. Mm. <laughs> so like, but it's so good to be denied something so that you're grateful for when it comes, and you work so much harder mm. because you're like, now it's a I'm 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 a competition with myself type of person. Facts. I root for the other person, but I'm competitive with myself. That's a fact. And I, like, yeah, I can only imagine that built a lot of strength. I can me, see yeah. that. I asked that because like we had a um. And they didn't. I had we had a, we have a dancer that's in Atlanta from Baltimore. Her name is Amira, right? I I interviewed her a long time ago, right? Mm-hmm. And she used to say like when she was coming up dancing, that people used to tell her she would dance too hard. Mm-hmm. But this is in Baltimore, so mm-hmm. this is a whole another side of the world, right? Yeah. And I was wondering, did you ever have any experience with that? Like maybe not dancing too hard, but like maybe you sang a little too too good, right? Maybe right. you had to dumb it down. Did you ever feel like you had to dumb down your talent? to fit in certain rooms? Um, hmm. Honestly, that's a great question. I, I really, I don't think I've ever felt that feeling. Mm. I understand that feeling though. Um, but I can say that, I can say that on Empire, um, for those that know, there's a song called Look But Don't Touch and there's like, that's like one of the biggest songs that I did on that show. Mm. And um, that, me dancing with those women, and shout out to y'all, because they're like working dancers. They dance for all the biggest artists. Dancing with them pushed me to a level that I've never uh, experienced. And it taught me so much. Um, and so that's probably what your friend had to go through. Mm. There's probably something that she was naturally talented and gifted but when she gets into a room or a space with people um in a professional space like sometimes it is about blending it is about looking uniform and unison and it's about not necessarily sticking out now if you have a solo then that's you go crazy Mm. but i did have to learn that when it's a bunch of people all together it really like um it matters, and I and I had boot camp, Jamaica Craft, Brandon Jones, those are the choreographers, and the dancers were amazing, and it was it was complete boot camp for me, and I'm so grateful for those times that I went home, my whole body hurt, <laughs> mm. because it just created a different monster in me, like that's crazy. It was unbelievable, yeah. So that, that's a great way to even think about it, like just one bang, one sound type of thing, right? Yeah, you can't be going out there. And you sticking out like a, a sore thumb. Depending on what it is, yeah. Right? Right. And I was wondering, is that like is it like that in acting? Because sometimes people could be doing a lot and you don't need to do a lot for this world. This yeah. Role. You know what? It's very different worlds. We're all creatives and um, it's so similar in ways, but then it's also so different. Like a mm. theater actor is different from an on-screen actor. Mm. Um, and those are things that I've learned over time, of course, but... Um, yeah, there there are times where, you know, the director can give you direction on how they see it versus how you may have saw, saw it. Mm. So it's about being adaptable. It's about taking direction. And those that's what books people jobs, honestly, mm. is, is being adaptable, being able to take direction, being flexible with your with your gift and um, being able to carry out the vision of whatever you're doing, whoever you're working for. Facts. And, and I think just in my opinion, you could tell me wrong or not. I feel like another thing that makes people special is when you can walk in a room and you can make so many other people shine as well. Mm. Right? Like that's what like we look at sports players like LeBron James, mm. right? Like you mm-hmm. see LeBron James get on the court and he automatically makes every other person on the court level up. Mm-hmm. Right? And I feel like that's another part of being special. It could be acting, it could be dancing. Yeah. Uh, absolutely have you have you witnessed that yes i've definitely witnessed that i've I've, you know what fortunately i have worked with some really great actors that i look up to and i see their work ethic and that's what they do like taraji when she comes on set she's a powerhouse Mm. and it's it makes everybody like step they what made what what made her a powerhouse if you could think back that far to me she's unapologetic and she is free with her gift and she doesn't well for me looking in you know on the outside looking in um she allows herself to uh express and to be free and she doesn't second guess her instinct Mm. she allows her instinct to be present 
first. And that's actually uh, one of the pointers she gave me. Mm. Now, do you think that comes with time or is that something I think some you people walk have in? it naturally? But it can come with time. Well, not even learning it, right? I'm saying, yeah. I'm like, so when you say she's free, mm-hmm. I feel like she worked hard to be free, right? She, she worked hard to say what Absolutely. she wants. Absolutely. She and went I'm, to Howard. Like, she studied yeah. this. Yeah. And I was wondering so I'm sure. if you are a new actor, does that take away some 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 of your freeness or sometimes you want to speak up but you can't because like this ain't my time but when somebody is like taraji it's like man i work to be here i'm big dog i can say what i want do you yeah i feel like your experience and your 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 gift and your talent and your accolades for instance can can allow you more space to have that opinion Mm. or that say so or no this is how i feel like it should be done Mm. and i feel like that also is respected amongst other people you're working with. But yeah, like it is a little bit of a, if you're new here, like learn. <laughs> you, ever, you ever felt that any, any Yeah, time? absolutely. Did that, did, did that I hurt? I felt that on Empire did, did, a lot. Did it give you like pressure in your chest at the moment? Or you, absolutely. Damn. Butterflies, pressure, nervous, all of that. Damn. <laughs> Y'all was watching, how old were you when you was on Empire? Uh, I started when I was 19. 19. Mm-hmm. Um, when did you do the, the? Uh, I guess you had a scene where you kissed a girl or something like that. What age that was that? That same year. 19. Yeah, I think that was the first season, yeah. So I was I was looking at some interviews or whatever, and it was this one interview that kind of <laughs> oh, made me cringe. I'm not even going to lie. Because they were talking about it, but I was like, yo, like, <laughs> Randy, you was 19, but it still felt like you was just so young. And like, I was. these was like grown men. Like, they really just going, in. you probably know what I'm talking about. But I'm no, like, I don't know. Okay, see, mm. I, I I be digging in my bag. Okay. It was a long time ago. Okay. So, okay. but I was just like, sheesh, and I was wondering like, do you, at at in that in that time, eighteen, right? You said eighteen, nineteen, 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 yeah. 19 mm-hmm. years old. Did you feel like because you had that scene, you was over sexualized in the in the lights of so many people? Um, and probably rushed before you wanted to be. Wow, that's a great question. Oh, I've never been saying. asked that question. Um, sure, mm. sure, but it's something that I I'm. It's something that I was not pressured to do. Mm. It's something that I was fully aware of. It was something that was a meeting. We had a meeting about it because once again, my character did not start off that way. Mm-hmm. It's TV. They write episodes as they go usually, and it ended up that my character was getting into these things, and this is who she was becoming and um i think that at that time i was very nervous obviously i well at that time i've never done that and then personally but then also i'm doing this on tv Mm -hmm. i have parents and family i was very like i was just nervous i was Mm -hmm. very nervous and to be honest with you but you know what I, i i realized that this is my craft and i am not me i'm tiana Mm. And um, this is the reality of so many women um, that are going through whatever they're going through, whatever, you know, for, for we had a conversation when I sat down with the producers that she's a young girl. She's a pop star. She has this fame all of a sudden um, and she's figuring herself out. Mm. And in that once I once I heard the reason behind it and it wasn't just being sexualized, I said, okay. Mm-hmm. It made me feel so much better because, yes, I know that. I understand that. I relate to that. And I know there's so many women or men that go through that. And and I was like, I, I'm okay with telling that story. Sheesh. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen. As an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, 
you trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. Y'all ready? <laughs> this is when the podcast begins. So, all right. Um, I did not write this down, I promise. But this is such a, uh, a genuine question and it's so real. We talk about relatability. It's so important. It's so powerful, right? Yeah. And especially when we're watching TV and movies and things like that, that's what what, what um, separates the good shows from the great shows, like when it, when it can touch you in a space where, like, oh, I felt that way. But now I'm listening to you and I'm wondering, like, we see TV shows. Like, what was the Drake show? What was the uh, the show Drake did? The the, no, no, not that one. The um, the newer one with the girls oh, and they. Oh, Euphoria. Euphoria. Right? We sure, see yeah. shows like Euphoria and it's so great because that's what I was doing in high school, right? Really? <laughs> I mean, we all had our times. I mean, not drugs. I'm like, we, we was there, we was doing everything. But you, you see it and it's so related. It was like, yo, I'm oh kidding. my God, that's what I was doing in high school. Yeah. That's what makes it so good. But let's yeah. look on the other side, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of, it'd be a lot of young people playing these, these roles. And I'm like, yeah, even if we do have that conversation, mm -hmm. even if you are okay with it, do you really know what's coming, what's to come after that airs on TV, after that goes worldwide? Are you really prepared for that? Are you even ready to have that that answer, right? Like, sh and I guess the question <laughs> is, we talk about morals and ethics. Like, as good as it is, as, as as powerful as an impact it is to see that and to think back on, like, that was me, right? Mm -hmm. Is that really good for the person in it, the actor, the actress? I think it just depends on you. And, you know, like, for me... It was all about doing something. At the end of the day, yes, I have family, and morals, et ethics, all this. But at the end of the day, you just have to be comfortable. Mm. If it's something that you you consent, the word consent, mm -hmm. to is most important, and you understand what you're doing, then I feel like it's fine. I mean, you can't control what people are going to think or say. You can't control how people are going to feel about anything you do in life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Well, what at what? And I guess this is the the, the conversation. Trying, like, at what age is it really consent? Because at 19, do we really know? Like, do do you really know what you want? Do you really know what's okay? Granted, we're over 18, yeah. and I'm not saying nothing to, to the TV shows. I'm just having a conversation. Like, just thinking back, I'm thinking like if I my daughter, right, like at 18, at, at no me at 18, 19. Then I really, you know, I thought I knew what I wanted, right? Yeah. Until I saw what I didn't want, mm -hmm. and I'm just thinking like, damn, like I wonder if I don't know. It's a sticky, it's a, it's a slippery well, slope. Well, you know what? Like my mom has been saying, if it ain't a hell yes, mm. it's a hell no. That's hard. Period. I like that. <laughs> I like that. If I it like ain't that. a hell like yes, that. it's a hell no. That's hard. That's hard. And like that's that. what you have to stick to. Do mm. not commit to doing nothing mm. that you're not sure about. Mm. Because like you're saying, you don't know how you're going to feel after. You don't know if you look back, if you're going to be ashamed or whatever. If you feel in your gut that it's not right for you, then you need to back away from that situation, not do it. Because mm. you don't want to have that regret or that shame or whatever comes with it. Um, for me... I was so much more comfortable knowing that this is not just for, this is not just um, like clickbait, if you will. This mm -hmm. is not just for, oh my gosh, wow aspect. You're really telling a story of a person. And that's real. That's what acting is. Um, we're telling stories of mm. real human beings. And a lot of the things that they got from Empire is emulating real pop culture. Right. So um, I was okay with it from there because we've heard of these stories with, with women in the industry that are young pop stars mm. that are huge. And they're just living their life under a microscope. We know that so well. So I was okay with that. Um, and, and I am okay with it still. And mm. I stand by that, you know. But if, if, if you do feel, or if I did feel uh, like it wasn't right for me, then I would have had to walk away, mm. I'm, you know. And there's a lot of people that have to walk away sometimes. Oh, that's fine. That's real. If, if it ain't a hell yes, it's a it's hell a no. Hell no, that's for everything. Hard. I know. That's life. That's what, listen. Listen, that's a, when, that's the first thing I thought about is life. That's it's like everything. every single thing in life. We were just talking yesterday about just self love, right? That's a that's a form of self love. That's a okay. form of boundaries. That's yes. a form of if that ain't the highest form of love, I don't know what is, right? Yeah. Outside of loving God, right? Absolutely. When, it's, when it comes to loving yourself, self. that's the highest form of self love, and that's if it ain't a hell yes, 
It's a hell no. Got to get out of here. That's hard. That's <laughs> fire. Like, no, nah, for real. <laughs> Damn. So, okay. So, one thing about Empire, and again, I'm going back so long ago. Um, one thing about Empire, <clears throat> I think, at that time, it was like a, a back and forth for Ghost at the moment, right? I think, yeah. It was like a back and forth for like, what was better, right? It was mm-hmm. That was like the, the two shows you compare it to. Oh. <laughs> right? That was the two shows you were comparing it to, right? Power and, I think, and Empire. Yeah, Power. Yeah. Then I think... um. I, I just hate that because it's like, at the time, it's two two black sh- big shows, black cast, black creators, and I hate that we were pitted against each other. I really do. I mean, you know that's life, though. That's going. We gonna I do know, that. I know, but <laughs> you know, actor, right you? now it's so beautiful because there's a plethora yeah. of black shows to watch. Um, not the saying that there wasn't then, but we were really, really hot at the same time in. I just hated that we were pitted against each other because internally it just causes a lot. But like what? I'm curious. It's, no. I mean, it just causes a lot of riffraff between actors. We're young, mm. and we're all new to this, yeah. and we're all hungry. Yeah. And to me, it's 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 poor leadership sometimes. But you know what I mean. To me, it's 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 more about we're all in, we're doing this, and I'm I'm clapping, I'm clapping for black men buying BET. Like, to me, that's amazing. No, no cap, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm clapping for you doing what we're doing right now. Thank you. Because you could be doing a million other things. Thank you. That, you know what you I'm saying? You could be doing a million other things, and you sit here with me. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But, you know, th- that's yeah. where my mind is. And so when it's about negativity, I just don't subscribe. Mm. Yeah. But, I mean, I get it, right? But that's I what get sells. it. It's playful banter sometimes. But also... It comes with a lot, like you said, though. Yeah, it comes with a lot in at, real life, right? And at that moment, <laughs> off you probably, of Twitter. Oh, then I'm not saying at that moment you probably don't know about it. Like you said, like you're young now. It's probably real young smoke. I've been got money, like it's real smoke. Like people nah, out the hood you, for the first time, like facts, all type of stuff. Facts. Nah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. That's true. That, 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 I ain't, you're right. But I was gonna ask, like, so coming making a switch, right? Well, not a switch, but for, for the sake of conversation, like coming to BMF. Right, working with Fifty. Yes. And I was wondering, what were some of the things that if we were two two types of questions, right? What were some of the missed opportunities on that side, right? That you saw was together on the other side, right? And vice versa. What were some of the things that you saw that was that was great over here that probably wasn't as great over there? As far as what far working as, on BMF. Yeah, as far as the business, as far as the the actors, as far as whatever, right? Like, what were some things that you came in like? Damn, I never I, I I just learned this. This was this was this was new to me and I like it. Um, you know, to be honest, I learn new things all the time. Every show I work on or every project. Excuse me. He has me drinking time. champagne. Take your time. Hey, hey, I'm thinking both. <laughs> okay. Um Take your time. You need some seconds, it's fine. It's fine. Take your time. We ain't no rush. We ain't in no rush. <laughs> Take your time. We ain't in no rush. I'm like, these bubbles are coming up, child. Okay. <laughs> you good, you good. <laughs> Um. Okay. I learn new things on every project I work on. Mm-hmm. Um. I can say with BMF, I have a I had a very pleasant um, experience. I loved meeting Fifty and the whole team. I loved working with all the actors on there. I'm super close with a lot of them. Um. They're all very talented, and. I popped in and out of that show because of my role. So mm-hmm. I wasn't in the daily, like Empire was there more daily. Mm-hmm. Um, BMF, I, I wasn't. Um, and so when I did get there, it was such a cool world for me because it was like we're in the 80s or we're, we're early, late 80s, or 90s. And it's like the clothes, the cars, the houses, the the sets that they build. It, it just takes you back into a moment. And they do really a really great job at like capturing that authentically, Mm. um, especially to Detroit or Detroit, um, as they say. And so I, I, that experience for me was amazing. And, and I loved every, every second of working on BMF. Um, Mm. um, I think that, you know, 50 has a powerhouse going on and, and what he is doing, he's doing very, very, very well. Mm. You know, and and I love that for him, and I love that for all the actors that are in the franchise because you just you're you're set up for great TV, you're set up for great scripts, and and to be involved in something that's 
that's not only hot, but that's that's telling great stories and it's authentic and um, um, I, I I just really enjoy it. I enjoy all of them. What was some? But what was something that you enjoyed? You overly enjoyed um, filming BMF that you wish was a part of the Empire process. <laughs> Or we can't answer um, that. If you can't, it's fine. I don't want. Hey, I, don't I want mean, you, you know what? You need to keep I, your bags coming. So I, don't I can't really say. Hey, I'm with you. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> tell me. You can tell me. It's, it's family over Cut here. That out. I can't. I can't really. I can't really. I can't really say. It's two different times in my life. To be mm. honest, um, Empire. I don't know if you noticed. I was. I. I was. Pretty much. Um. I was working at H&M and I was like enrolling into college and having a really, really tough time with my living situations. And then I booked Empire and and the first check I got was I was able to get a place to live. So it's like, it's just a different, it was a way. And then now I did BMF after COVID and it's like, it's a whole different, I'm older. Mm. I've experienced a lot more. Um, I'm able to just be present and, and, and have my blindfolders on. You see these glasses? My heart. I told you got a lot of comments like, off the last I don't ones. have great peripheral um, vision right now, and that's what it is. I can't really explain mm. that, where it's like it's having blinders. So when I go work on BMF, I'm, hey, Strictly how you doing? BMF. Like, I'm me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about all of that. Mm. And if it is around me, it's like oil on water. I mean, water on oil, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it don't mix. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not even. I don't. I don't see it. You know. I'm not. I'm not into it. I wasn't. I, I, and honestly, I wasn't there enough to really be into it. So I can say that my my experience was amazing. Um, Empire taught me a lot, and I was a young girl on Empire. <laughs> I literally wasn't even 21 yet. Right. Like I was popping before I could even legally get into a club. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just a different time. And honestly, there's there's really no um both shows were amazing. Both shows are, are amazing. Hey, I can't you, really say anything. Hey, it's fine. I Great answer. Really, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> to be I'm being completely honest. Hey, I hope I hope that people even know that I'm genuine. It's fine. Even if they don't yeah. Yeah. I think you bullshit really a little bit in it, but it's okay. I'm That's really what you're not. To do. I mean, I don't I don't know. But you're like, supposed to do that anyway. I had an amazing experience. And that's, um, that's how it's supposed to both. be. Great. Yeah. Exactly. Trust me. I had my hardships at Empire, but I was a grown like I said, I was a young growing girl. And there's a lot of personal things I was going through as well. So let's talk about some of the growth then, right? Yes. I feel like being on the show then and being on the show now yeah. is completely different because you're completely two different people. Absolutely. Right? So what are some of the things that I guess you learned or some of the things that you see yourself doing differently now, now that you got the experience under your belt, now that you can come in a little bit more unapologetically you, right? You yeah. can you can let your hair down and you can you could you could, you might even call a little bit of shots. It might not be the shots you you going to call <laughs> ten years from now. Absolutely. But you got a little leverage now. Yeah. I wonder like even when it comes yeah, to it's money. Different now. Yeah, it's yeah. Different. I, I'm curious <laughs> like even when it comes to money, what are some of the things you was you was being irresponsible with when you was on Empire versus being on BMF? Like talk to me about the growth in that. Mm. All of it. Whatever you get. What was your first irresponsible purchase at, at Empire? Irresponsible. Yeah, what was the what was the thing you shouldn't have bought? Like this is dark. if you had to go back, I wouldn't. You have know did what? That. I wish I did that. I didn't. I didn't. I was never irresponsible with my money, because I didn't have any. So mm. I, that was I wasn't playing with that. I wasn't okay. playing with not having. Yeah, nah. That I was. I was very serious about those things, mm. um, because of <laughs> just my life growing up, um, and and that was something that I wasn't. I wasn't willing to sacrifice. A living situation for a chain or anything mm. like that. I just that just wasn't me. It just it's just not me. But I can say, um, shit, a lot of things. I'm responsible with time and getting lit and having to go to work the next day. Y'all about to say what about the acting part? What about like reading <laughs> your lines? Was you was you more serious with it then because you had to be because you really you had to study all the time. Whereas though now is it like man I can get this like that or was it opposite? Um, was you playing and partying and like not really? It took you longer than than it is now. Um, it definitely took me longer than than it is now. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, lines and things is like a learned. It's it's a, it's a skill. Yeah. Um. So it gets better over time. But, um, I could definitely say I didn't even have that many lines in Empire. You have to understand, like, 
Empire was I I wasn't uh, I was more of a performer on that show. Mm-hmm. I didn't have too many lines to worry about. Um, as the seasons progressed, I got more involved in the show, um, and thank God because listen, I was a guest star. Our guest star reoccurring. I was guaranteed three episodes. That's mm-hmm. it. They just kept writing me in because Twitter loved me. Thank you. Right. Thank you to the people. Yeah. Um, that's what I think. And and they saw me and Hakeem and Tiana and Hakeem. And that was the thing. And they just it just kept going. And thank God it did, right? Because now I'm sitting here. Yeah. Um, but I was not guaranteed that. So I could just say it's it's just divine and it's hard work. And um, I fought for a lot of things that, a lot of a lot of the spaces I was in in Empire was very competitive, mm. and I fought for a lot of that. For a lot of that, I worked very very hard. You was a, a red caring performer, right? Mm-hmm. Let's get into this shit though. Let's get into the music. Absolutely. Yes. Do you that. think you can do both just as good a hundred percent all the time? Mm. Both acting and music. Personally, yeah. Um, I think that both. I think you can do both just as good, but I think that both need undivided attention. Mm. Now, do you think acting has gotten, or still is, getting in the way of making music? Sure. Mm. It's time. Are you truly okay with that, or is that what you gotta do to keep the build the lights on? Just curious. It's something I love to do, um, but it's something I also am aware of at this moment in my life. I am aware that I want to spend more time on my music, mm. and that's something that I'm just consciously aware of. Okay, this is what I want to do, and. I feel like I'm in a position now to do that. Mm. Now, are you prepared to say no to a couple gigs to stay focused on the music? Would you ever even do that? Mm-hmm. I have. Mm. How how was that feel? I feel like that that's a maybe a touchy topic. Um, depends on your situation, but for me, you know, I I. I've done. I've, I'm. A, I'm a hustler. I'm. I'm a hustler, homie. Mm. I'm a hustler. He laughing at me. No, I, I want to know because I'm serious. I, I, even, but even is it? Is it? Is <laughs> What's it? your name? Because <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, you just play with me, bro. Like hey, you laugh. I'm dead ass. <laughs> you laughing and shit. Ain't I'm nothing so funny. Serious. But, but okay. So, but was it any? Um, damn. What ifs? I wish I. When it comes to the music, because like again, when you don't do something one hundred percent, right? You always look back like, damn, I could. No, I I always do it one hundred percent. I think I'm just realizing that it it just requires more time. From research, it just looks like if I had to say, it looks like okay, acting kind of got in the way, even if it didn't. It just looks like man, I want to do music, but acting just got in the way of that. Acting is it was my way there. Mm. That's how I feel, but I also love it, right? It's like super exciting and it's fun and it's a different form of art. And these are all things I've done growing up. I've done acting, dance, and singing my whole life. So mm. um, it just was the first thing to happen. Mm. And I was a singer on the show. Right. <laughs> but is that being a singer on a show, is that like being a singer in reality? Like, Well, no, it's not. So yeah, you can say, man, it was the pathway, but was it really? Because it's like, bro, like, I'm not. What's the, the character, T- Tiana? Well, it absolutely was. Mm. It because it gave me the platform. It it, it allowed people to know who I was. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. You um, did you take some things off of uh, iTunes? Off? Yeah. No. No, you didn't take nothing off of iTunes. No, why? Nah, because I went on the iTunes. I don't have all. a lot of music. Yeah, I was like, maybe you took some things off. I'm releasing an MP soon. <clears throat> okay, so that's the first thing that popped up. I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm like, surreal. There's okay. probably a lot of um, 
TV music. Yeah, Empire. On there. Stuff yeah. On that year, for yeah. sure. But it's not a lot of Soraya. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wait. Yeah, I'm dropping an EP soon. Um, that's actually what we're working on right now, nonstop. Okay. So when is when is this coming? Give me a date. Because I'm looking, look, I'm looking, and I'm like, like I'm literally, I just was, I was literally just looking. <coughs> First of all, this Love of Dolls Fire. Thank you. Fire. Yeah, that was my latest single. Is that um, um is that like uh, it gives West Indian vibe? No. no yeah, like, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Well. Uh, Afro beat. Afro beat. Yes. Okay. The artist on there is is he's said, he's African. Yeah. I didn't yeah, mean, yeah. I'm sorry. Y'all didn't mean. No, to say it that. it has a similar. You my know, girl is Jamaican, so. They but mean, okay. No. I didn't mean <laughs> to say that. I did not mean to say that. Oh my god, that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> and what I'm about to say next, it makes it worse. Something like I know better. <laughs> I swear, I was listening to it, and you know what it made me think of, and this might be a stretch. Mm. Wiz Kid and Chris Brown. Well, period. Cause I it, love that song. Yeah, like that. Doesn't, is it not like the, a similar BPM or not? Or Absolutely. Yeah, I yeah, so. yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, so my EP is coming right now. We're shooting for August. Um, and and yeah, I that was the single that I released. Um, I'm an independent artist. I've been funding all of my own things mm. thus far. And um, it's not an easy road being <laughs> completely independent. So sometimes people are independent and they also have... Um, they got a little back distro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They a little, got a little, empi- a little empire something. behind them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you <laughs> understand the the business, though. Yeah. I'm saying it for people who don't understand mm-hmm. it. Um, being completely independent means it's your checking account. Mm. <laughs> so it's it's very different um, when you're the one putting up your own dollars. Um, shout out to Nipsey for selling. Mm. Doing mm-hmm. what he did. One hundred dollars at that. <laughs> because early. Yeah, because he sold his project for like a hundred dollars early when, before he dropped Victory Lap, before he was really Nipsey Hustle, he was selling them a hundred dollars a piece. And I understand why. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, let's talk about that then. What about? Because I feel like this perception versus reality thing. Mm-hmm. Like even now, right? Like you independent, and it's hard. Mm-hmm. When people look at you like, man, that's Soraya, man. Like, what? Like, she was on Empire. Yeah, she was on people BMF. look at you and she say lit. a lot of things. She probably rich. Like, and then they <laughs> Google your network. They probably say four million or some shit, ten million. You're like, what the fuck? Like, You're like what? Like me? Ooh. Y'all got it. Yo, how was that for you? Like, just people looking at you because you were on TV, because you got two million followers, because you are Soraya, right? But you probably like, man, I'm still climbing. You have no Absolutely. idea. How was that? It's a it's a weird because it's false reality mm. and and I feel like that's what we all man you don't know what people's real situations is looking like in Instagram and music videos and all of these things don't like they don't clearly depict a real situation mm. it's it is. I'm not saying that some of the people don't really have money I mean you know I don't know these situations mm. but. I am saying that it's also gimmicky and it's it's very much um, a persona, a perception. Yeah, for sure. It's it's business. It's mm-hmm. getting you to buy into something. Um, and so that's just what it is. And as soon as your face hits TV, people think that you're rich. How, how does that? And that's af- just not it. How does that affect the, the closest ones to you, your family, your close friends? How did that affect those relationships? Uh, differently in different ways. Um, just like what I said, people see your face hits the TV. They think you're rich, but really, I said this in another interview, but really, you know, you don't know what a guest star reoccurring makes Mm. and it's not what the other people on show are making. (laughs) Mm. We all have our own contracts (laughs) and our own deals. And, um, you know, just because you see me next to someone doesn't mean that our bank accounts are similar you know, type of thing. So mm, mm, mm. so it can become kind of difficult and, you know, think people pass, some people fall, mm. you know, when it's winter, the leaves fall, some people fall off. Um, and that has happened. But at the end of the day, you know, um, I just really feel like just having, sharing the awareness, which is what I love. I love having conversations like this because I'm about keeping it real. I just can't do anything less. And I, I it, it's so important for people to understand, even people that are aspiring to be in a place, that you're fine. Understand that it's okay. Mm. Because 
everything is not what it seems. Mm. And you really don't know people's situations for real. When you're looking at pictures and videos of people and what they choose to let you see mm. is not the same as what's happening all day, every day. Talk to them. So I just, you know, it's really important, especially for aspiring actors or musicians or just people getting into the entertainment field. Uh, it's very important to realize that, like, yes, you can have uh, someone as uh, maybe look up to them and their work or things that they've been a part of, but don't think that it's so far from you. Mm. Like, that's what I learned. That's what I really learned. Like, God really showed me that. Like, things can really happen like that. Are you ready for it is the question. They say success is when preparation meets opportunity. That's yes. what success is when you're prepared yeah. for it. So you have a, a, a opportunity to come in. A lot of them ain't prepared for it. It's going to skip right over your ass. <laughs> right. And that's what your ass get. I don't feel no sorry for you. <laughs> I'm curious, though, yeah. did you lose any good relationships, ones that you really wanted, that you really cared for, that you really cherished, over that yeah there's family members and best friends and people that i've i was very hurt over a lot of years mm. um that i just didn't understand what went wrong you know sometimes it changed the money or the fame or the whatever has changed it changes people around you mm -hmm. and you're the same person and sometimes all you want people to do is like recognize you as such yeah but like you would just want to like like look like oh my god let's all do this together and and that 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 light shines bright on the things that other people are going through and sometimes it's too much for them come on man you know the hardest part about that mm. the hardest in my opinion the hardest part about that is you don't learn that until you end it yeah you don't really understand it right like it's coming into it like man i can't wait till i get lit i'm bringing all my family with me we're gonna be out we ain't never want to worry about nothing and on your road to litness or greatness right of course you hit certain milestones and people think these milestones is the destination mm -hmm. and it just steps to the top i'm not there yet and mm -hmm. they start thinking they start having expectations they start thinking you this and that. And I never understood. I thought it was cliche that, and yeah. I'm sorry, I'm getting passionate about this. Because, <laughs> like, I thought, like, I did not know. But it's like, yo, when you get successful, you don't change the people around you. and You don't really understand it until you living in it. And that shit hurt. I don't know about that shit hurt. Because it's like, bro, you want people to still look at you like I'm still me. Oh, let's kick it. you are. Right. Yeah. But you know what me, you know what still being me me. Bro, I can't pay your bills. I never pay your bills. <laughs> I, I never did that. I want to. But I ain't even pay my mom's maybe bills one yet. one day I can. You know what I'm saying? But give me a second. Give me a second. It's like, bro, I just bought my mom's a watch. It ain't an Audemars. It ain't a Rolex. It's a nice watch. It might yeah. be a citizen, but it ain't. But niggas, they just see it and they have expectations. And it's like, bro, give me a second. Yeah. Mm, you ever felt like you had? I know you felt. Absolutely. All the time. Oh my God! All the time. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. You see, I'm like that shit hurt, bro. It does hurt. It really does hurt because it's from the people that you love. So it's a really weird dynamic to mm. to come to terms with. It's a hard pill to swallow. For it sure. really is. Yeah. How do you get over that? For the people, for the people who hasn't who haven't seen it yet, how, like how have you gotten over it? Time and. Um, understanding that some of the hurtful things may be said or done has nothing to do with me. Come on, man. And really, really understanding that and knowing that for myself and allowing if space is what needs to be had, even though that's not what I desire, then so be it. You know, the, you can't suffer because then that's going to stop your own growth because mm. now you're worried about this all day, right? You're not you're not focused on what you're doing. So um, it becomes a, a weight carried and you just don't, you're not responsible mm. for that. And that's another thing, understanding what you're responsible for. Yo, you know, um, another hard part of that to me, in my opinion, is having to be graceful, having graceful people. Yes. Yeah. Right, because you said something a few a few uh, seconds ago that somebody told me, and I had to understand. And this was, I'm not gonna lie, this is about my relationship. 
and, uh -oh. and this is my relationship. Well, so I had to like I had to look at it like friends. I'm like, well, no, for real. So like sometimes, and this is with all of us, because even with me, and I had to understand, uh, be able to look at myself in the mirror and recognize when it's happening. Sometimes your success, right, or not even success, sometimes your light can be hurtful to somebody else in that moment of pain. And that don't have nothing to do with you. Yeah. And that's everybody. That's 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 your mother, that's your father, that's your girlfriend, your boyfriend, yep. that's your family, cousin, best friend. And sometimes you just gotta have grace because it might be a time where you going through it and somebody else's success might make you look in the mirror and cry a little bit too. Yeah. So I had to learn to be sometimes and not take it personally, be like, you know what? It's a time and I know you don't mean nothing by it. You don't mean to hurt me. Your words isn't towards me. It's really a self reflection of how you feel about yourself. That's 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 a really tough space. Mm. Um certain people, personalities, um, I feel like are more susceptible to it. I can honestly say I've never done that. Mm. I've been in a position where um some of my friends or fr I would say my friend, Shamik Moore, for instance. I love him. He's I've been friends with him since, like, seventh grade. And he has been on TV bef way before me. Mm. And um, it's something that we both wanted to do. And it's something that I looked at him in admiration. Mm. And I was like, oh, man. Like, every time he was on the screen, I'm like, ma, Shamik's on Nickelodeon again. Like, he's a he had a Reese's commercial. Mm-hmm. And then he was on this this show too, and uh, I just remember, oh God, like I really want to do this too. Right. And it was something I also shared, um, but you know what? I never, I never came left at him. Mm. I was always so happy for him, and and you know, and it's not to come down on people who do, but. It's a character flaw that you have to work out yourself. That's a fact. And, and that's that's nothing that anyone else is responsible for. It's not. But let's talk about this now. Yeah. You're right. But we all got character flaws. You Absolutely. I mean, I have it in a hey, different I was, area. How, baby. I was, I was about saying? to go. I was about to go there. <laughs> but you, on this topic, you might be blessed in. in I really in this feel like I, I there's something that I really wanted to do also, and that's like the your biggest dream. Your your best friend's doing it, but you're not. No, for sure. So that's a that's a big telling on who you are and i think that um you know it's important to understand and there's something it's probably because of my ment mentor was the word not an e mentor a m oh wow i'm that was sorry bad. it's okay that was really bad you get a mentor pass. mentor is the word but my mentor aka my momager would always tell me you know, when it's your time, it's your time. Just be ready. Yeah, sure. Just be ready for your time and and focus more on what you're doing. But hold up, no, no. We so, not, we, what we not about to do is what you ain't about. See, that's and that's I've been saying this a lot now. I'm hindsight bias, right? Mm. Your mentor, your mom's was telling you that for a reason. Mm -hmm. She had him telling you that because you wasn't, you didn't arrive at that place yet. I'm well, assuming. Of course, no, because she knows what I want to do. She knows I'm working hard and I'm. I'm trying to get out of school to so go homeschool. And she's like, nah, you going to school. Mm -hmm. Like, I had to go to school. I didn't have the same route. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm saying I never came to my best friend with that energy. I never made him feel ostracized or different or, you know. Um, that was a good word, ostracized. You know, yeah, like that. he's, you know, all of a sudden, like, I'm just not his friend. No, I mean, you know, I take it with a grain of salt. And I just really feel like. The fact that I lived through it and it actually did happen, I feel like I can I can really speak on the matter, mm. and I can say that when it's your time, it's your time, For and sure. your path is your path. So let me ask you this then: How to sit up? Uh oh. Because that never been you, right? Was it hard for you to give grace for the people who did have that character flaw? Did you was you a little bit more? unaccepting or not accepting to people that, that did come at you left when when it was in them and it had nothing to do with you? You know what? Either way, I feel like it's hard. When you're the person in the seat receiving that from people that you love, it's hard. Mm. Regardless of which So was it hard to accept that? 
From people? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm just curious. Me. Very, very, very hard. Very hard. Yo, okay. I asked you this before, right? I wanted to talk to you about this. I feel like every, probably like most of the interviews I watch, your relationship always came up. Yeah. Right? And I was wondering, I'm like, damn, like that has to be hard because it's like sometimes, like especially when you're popular, right? And you're in popular relationships, sometimes that can overshadow what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that has been a case in a, in a couple instance, instances? Um, Your relationship overshadowing your work? You know, yeah. I feel like it's happened sometimes. I can't say that, you know, I can't say that my relationship has been clickbait every five seconds because it mm. has not so i know people have experienced it way more than me yeah um, a few people. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> so i can't say that I, I think i do a pretty good me and whoever i choose to be with publicly um are always on the same page about those type of morals but um yeah it gets it gets frustrating sometimes when you're trying to promote something and all they want to talk about is that mm -hmm. sure it has nothing to do with you don't want to talk about it. It's just, I'm working right now, and I'd rather talk about work. Mm -hmm. And those and those just become, and that's just what comes with it. You know what? I'm so grateful. I'm going to take this time. Give inserts, it to us, man. Inserts, give it to us. Inserts meditation give us, music. Give us all the good shit. <laughs> I'm going to take this time to be super grateful for my path mm -hmm. and for when, I, when it happened and how it happened because – it allowed me to be mature enough for a lot of things that maybe would have broke me at a younger age. Mm. And it's things like that. I understand that this is what comes with my industry and I'm not going to kick and scream and be mad at you for that. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm mature enough to say, I understand why you're asking me this, but also I'm mature enough to say, here's some things I don't, I'm not going to speak on. Mm. So I just want to take that time just to say that because I feel like that's not said enough and people often make it seem like they're just being picked on or they're not soliciting information to the world that now people want to talk about. I understand that people are, I, I have millions of followers and who I choose to post and you're interested about that. Mm. And so I, I just, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's that type of relationship with me and people asking questions. I never am offended. I'm I'm just going to tell you what I want to tell you. That's true. And you are human though, right? Absolutely. So you have your feelings towards so it. So I felt that way before, but mm. I'm just saying, you know, it's nothing that has consumed my world at night when I'm going to sleep that they ask me this question. Mm. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> or not even the question, but uh, but the world being so invested because yeah. it is your personal life and yeah. and gr like I'm sorry, but you are Soraya. Like you, like you, you. I probably can post me and my girl, and like I don't had a world ask me about it. You know, somebody <laughs> get a couple thousand likes, but it ain't a hundred. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. You was different when you posting. It's different now. It's like yeah. wow. people are invasive, and you can't be it is just different shade room. And it's yeah, you can't just be. It's nerve wracking. <laughs> and now, and it's funny because I talked to um Zanique about this, and we were just talking about like the other side of um just celebrity. Right, just the, the celebrity part about it, where you want to talk about these things, you want to you want to be vulnerable, but you can't because media and the world use your vulnerability as some type of weapon. They weaponize your vulnerability, mm. and I was wondering, have you ever felt that way? Even if it's outside of the interview, if it's the people on your page, if it's the the blogs, if, sure, yeah, is that hard? I got it. Yeah, Shayru comments are fucking. I don't read them. Mm. <laughs> That's my. <laughs> I, 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 I really recommend, like, all of my girls and, and guys who are on the receiving end of that spotlight, don't read the comments because mm -hmm. it's a lot. I've, and I've been a victim of that. Like, I've read comments and been very blood boiling. I'm ready to comment back. Mm -hmm. And my, my team is like, no, yeah. don't do it. Right, and I'm like, they need to know mm. how I feel right now. So you've had, you felt, you've definitely felt like Absolutely. your vulnerability has been weaponized with yeah. social media. Period. Absolutely, because people have an opinion, and then when it's on a, it's different. Yeah, like you're saying, it's different when it's just a comment that 
a couple of people are seen. But when it's a comment, when it's comment sections that millions of people are reading and you got your people texting you, oh, my God, screenshot and stuff. And your fun, my phone was blowing up off of this. It's it's very different. It, it feels all of a sudden it's like. It's the camera zoom out effect. Mm. It's like, oh my God, what's happening right now? I have no control over like it. Like you get anxiety almost. Yeah, it's ang- it, yeah, it creates an anxiety, an angst moment. Um, but, you know, it's also, um, it's also something that is used. Uh, <laughs> Talk to me. Come on, man. Talk to me. It's also can work in your benefit, you know, and as artists or as people in the entertainment business, let's just keep it real. <laughs> Clickbait. Is oh, my God. What you just, sells. You just pissed me off. <laughs> you fucked up my follow up question. <laughs> what was it? That was a great. That, okay. that was a great statement. I mean, but my follow up was going to be like, OK, if it gives you so much anxiety, right? <laughs> if it's so hard, if, it, if they weaponize your vulnerability. We saw you, you had one popular one. Why jump out there and do it again? But it, Well, it's my life, though. You know, it, it just turns into that. It's, I'm glad that we're talking about this because it's kind of a touchy so- subject for me, and I'm just now opening up. Oh, thank you. I'm going <laughs> to appreciate that, too. I'll say, hey, I'm, thank you. Appreciate I'm that. I'm just not opening up because I don't believe in soliciting my relationship. And this ain't that, though. I, don't, I hope not. No, um, I'm but no, Respectfully. I'm, no, just historically, I'm just not into it. Mm. I'm not into overly posting and and just all of those things. I like to know what I got is real beyond mm. the internet. Um, that's just me. Uh, but uh, there is a point in time where it's like, damn, like this is how I'm feeling right now. Mm. And I would post myself in this situation why I can't post me and this person in this situation. Um, And so that's a battle that if you, if you care about, but you know what, it's just about living in your truth and however you feel. And that's what I, that goes back to what I said early on in the beginning. It's like, what are you comfortable with? If you can live with yourself at night, that's all that matters Mm. for real. Um, so if one day I'm not comfortable posting you and the next day I am, then that's just the timing. Mm. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. And then and then I'm prepared, right? Because I'm now I'm I consented with this situation and I'm prepared with whatever comes with it. Come mm. on. Girls DMing, comments in, shade room posting. <laughs> oh, you went there. People telling you <laughs> you look crazy. crazy, you're with my man, girl, oh, no. that's my man. <laughs> okay. You was crazy. <laughs> It's okay. all type of stuff going on. I don't even know. It's, Damn. It's, it's a lot, yeah. I was like, wow. Well, thank you. I, <laughs> I did. Shit, I wasn't even expecting that. Yeah. That was, it was the people crazy. telling you what you looking like and how you come in, and then they put you up against other people. And now it's who wore it best or who did the dance better. Uh, whoa, 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 hold on. I hold mean, on. I'm just saying all of the things but you really, can go, you could really play into it, read can, the comments, and feel away. Let's be real though, though. No, 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 care. Like I got a fiance, I love my girl, but like, let's be real. You, you like, you got, bro, you pretty. You really ain't got a lot of like niggas can't really come at you too sideways. I mean, that's it's probably some things that you uncomfortable with, but yeah. Okay. Well, I appreciate that, but but th- but th- there's a receiving end for everyone. Is my point. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes there's sense. all things you're gonna read that you don't really like, um, but until you get there, you really don't understand. Because let me tell you, I didn't understand until I got there, and when when all the blogs are posting you at once, it's like, oh, what's okay. I, now? I'm curious. Like, what what what, what is this, some things that penetrate that that make you like say, oh, it could be anything. It could touch on. I mean, it could be anything. It could just be anything. Mm. To be honest, you know, comments. Hey, I'm I'm trying to be the uh, Twitter fingers. People behind a phone saying I'm whatever. Tr- I'm trying to be the uh, eight mile B rabbit. They say like if 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 you got a, a issue, just call it out yourself, and then you can't say nothing about me. So now I'm curious, like what's what's some of the things that you would say you're insecure about? I mean, I mean. I mean, I don't know. There's there's a lot of, I mean, we're all human. We all have our own things. Mm. I don't think that's really it. I just think that it's, it's sometimes when it's, a, it, it doesn't even have to resonate with me. Mm. If it's a negative comment, you just don't like it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, who who are you to be 
hold on, I'm about to reply. Yeah, no facts. I'm with and then you. you be deleting it like, ah, let me not do that. You gotta get the you gotta get the fenster, get a burner. Oh, I have a fenster. Yeah, you gotta get the burner so at least you can get it off. Or oh, somebody told me, I do have. A somebody told me on Twitter, you just write it and save it to your drafts. So at least you wrote it. And got it oh, off your chest. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, so just write it and save it to your draft. So now you're gonna you, do that. You got it off your chest. You responded, but, but you don't respond. accidentally post it. <laughs> <laughs> you responded, but then you didn't respond. And I'm like, that's a great idea because I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes what get to me, like what was what I'm like insecure about, or not really insecure. What I work so hard about mm -hmm. is like my, like my set, how it looked. So somebody like I remember like somebody will say like. Your, your audio is off. I'm like, bitch, I know my audio off. <laughs> but, like, when somebody comment oh, on it, right. like, that shit, get, like I won't respond. Obvious. Like, yeah, something obvious. Like, I'm like, like, bitch, or like, fuck you. Like, when somebody say, like, I don't know, like, why this and that, well, I'd be like, these just got me fucked up or some shit like that. Like, yeah. so definitely, like, trust me, I get it. I'm with you. I'm with you. So I'll give you my insecurities. <laughs> I'm vulnerable with you, too. You feel me? Nah, man, but this is, this is, a, uh, this is a great conversation. I, um, you definitely gained a fan. Not, well, let me keep it real, which I feel like we're friends now. You got to give me some more With music. Gemini, everything. You, you got to give me some more music for me to be a fan, fan. Uh, but you gained a fan of, <laughs> I'm a fan Gemini's. of you. I'm a Thank fan you, of you, and I'm a fan of you. And you know what? Um, Drop Now you got to drop super, some more music. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm okay. dropping more music, I okay. promise. It's happening. There's a lot behind the scenes with dropping music, just so y'all know. When, when your favorite artist is pushing dates back and shit, it's because it's a lot. That like happens. what? Because you're independent. I don't want to hear it. No. What's the excuse? Give me the excuse. It's a lot. I'm like what? <laughs> Give me the cap. Go ahead. Give me the cap. Because you're independent. You already said it. You said, I'm 100% independent. So what's the excuse? Your fans want to know. Let them know. Look in that camera right there and tell them. Tell them your excuse. <laughs> it's not an excuse. It's just the process. Um, there's a lot to the process that happens. Just there's. My bad. Hello. I was trying to um, follow you back. I mean, I was trying to follow you so you could follow me back. Okay. Um, <laughs> this I did this about acting, and I and I and I love to do this with as much as knowledge I know. I I, I would love to solicit it, but um, there's there's just not, you know, there's playlisting, there's DSP, there's there is. Um, <laughs> mm hmm. You saw that. Um, I'm not sure. There is, you know, preparing for drop dates and getting your team, you know, aligned with all of these different things, all these different contents that you see dropping, and all of this stuff is planned and prepared, mm. is what I'm saying. And um, there's a rollout process, and and these things take time, and these things take money, and these things take effort, and these things take planning, and it's not just oh, shit, they dropped it. Like, before they dropped it, I'm sure they had months of planning before that. So just know that whenever your favorite creatives are dropping something, like, also, like, instead of just watching it to critique it, understand that how much work mm. has gone into the process of something being created to be delivered to a mass of public, you know, to the masses and... um that's why I like I say like I don't I don't really like to critique like that. I like to find what I like about something because I'm also an artist and we're sensitive about our shit and we take a lot of time and effort and money to put into the things that we do and the things that you see from photography to videos to appearances to the clothes that we wear mm. to the way that our hair is done, to the makeup that you see us wear, to um, you know the events that you see us flying everywhere. These are this is money spent. Like mm. let's be real. Hey, you said it because I was going to okay. go. I was let's just because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. It just seeming like and then people come to me and they say, "Oh, you're Saray. You should be doing this." Oh my God, you should be doing this. You should be, you should be. Um, why don't you reach out to Rick Ross and um, uh, you should be. It's like, why are you saying it like it's so easy? Come on, bro, you playing like you playing. Like that's an this a pet peeve of mine at this point, and oh no one talks God. about that. No, it is not that easy. Let's talk. No, this cause this 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 is planning. This is meetings. This is getting people. This is this is this is a lot to do. Why are you in my head right now? Before you can arrive somewhere, and and it's a it's time for artists and creatives to keep it real because it's just not it's not real you guys it's not being told and i just feel like 
It's something that every artist from the biggest to the smallest are dealing with. They're dealing with people approving of them. They're dealing with people with budgets. They're dealing with all type of things. Or just working your way up. Just all type of stuff. I'm telling you, people that I thought that we didn't have the same struggle, we had the same struggle. And I said, oh, bro. I had no idea that they were also dealing with this. Man, there's, let me there's tell no you. way that they're dealing with this. And they are. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's uh-oh. Want some more? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm about to say that. <laughs> um, we talking. Hey, we, we in here and, now. And it's just so important that people understand that by the time you get a product mm. um, from anywhere, right, um, a lot of thought and, and, and um, money and time and planning has been devoted to that. And I just, I just really want people to take that with a grain of salt because with the commenting that we're talking about and everything like that, not to say it's going to get better from this interview, but I'm just saying at least it could be insight for other creatives to look at and be like, okay, cool, I'm not alone. Mm. You know, it's not going to stop the haters and the Twitter fingers and the people who ain't doing shit anyways. We're not talking about them. We're talking about people who get up every day with a to-do list, assert themselves, make their bed, all type of stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like this array. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Like, don't play with me. Get in okay, your every day. So, <laughs> nah. for the people who get up every day and do what they gotta do, pop your shit. This is who I'm talking to. Yo, when I say you in my head, bro, I'm <laughs> with you. We here, bro, because like, the little things are small, to the biggest thing. Yo, niggas will be like, yo, Jay, you should get, uh, <laughs> NBA young boy in your show <laughs> bitch don't right, tell me like, who the f- as if that's not what I come on like, people, like obviously yo, bro you should get you should get obviously. boozy on your show no shit Sherlock like what do you mean like I know that obviously. like niggas be you fucking idiots <laughs> like before we get to the money before we get to the everything you said the one thing you ain't say was you the effort you need to do a song with yo it's so much effort Pump in here. Your breaks. Facts. Like if I could, nigga, I would. What? I want to. <laughs> Tell them check that DM. Since everybody say who I should do. <laughs> Tell them check that DM. You, you should. Sh- you should. You should shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's what you should do. <laughs> oh my gosh! And I know that so many people just. And I'm just here to say, like, if you thought that, mm. thank you for being a fan. But if you right. thought that Saraya was on a pedestal, that couldn't nobody you know i'm here to say and keep it really 100 with you like it's an everyday uphill battle you know what i'm saying you talk you said that hey i hey, for everybody i like this, that, this that's a real you need to get you some more of this because that shit what is this bel-air and whatever right. you feel me because i mean this is the opportunity to hey, sponsor thanks you should call you should call rick ross Your right sponsor now. You did it. <laughs> I can't say what I want to say. This so. is an example of sponsorship. So, congrats. Are oh, you full of shit? <laughs> oh, you got one. It's okay. Cheers. Shout out to Bel Air, man. <laughs> Shout out to Rick Ross. Like. Shout out to everybody that part of the game. You full of shit, though. No, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm not. I'm. <laughs> hey, you should call Rick Ross. You feel me? You like... see what I'm saying? But hey, Can I get he's, a on, he's in your contacts. I mean, you funny as shit. <laughs> Maybe we can. <laughs> you funny as shit. <laughs> you in my contact? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> That's Somebody crazy. His that, or his. I got it. I got it. The manager. I got an interview with. Uh, <laughs> hey, might be on the way. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying, though? Yeah. You should come on now. Stop. <laughs> like, stop with that. So that like this week. Because I'm, I'm over that shit. That. This week, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, it's a new year. It's your birthday. We just, we putting that shit all on the table right Don't now. Don't you like, think if I, you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Nah, I do. Do you I, not, do you, like, I have yeah. vision boards and stuff. Like, I know. Yeah, the shit you're telling me is at the top of the <laughs> list. <and laughs> like, like, I'm aware and it's, it's like, t- trust me. Like you said, thank you for being a fan, <laughs> but the shit you're telling me is at the top of the list. I just, you know, and, and, and more than anything, it's purpose. Mm. And now we can bring the interview back. Mm. It's purpose because we can we can end on this. I know I'm rambling at this point. You're not, it's drinking good. Drinking Bel and all type of stuff. But it's about purpose. And it's like, if I can be, um, if I can lend a word or a song or an experience or a touch or a hug or... Whatever to someone who feels like they may have 
been overlooked or they feel like no one can relate or they feel like they're the only dreamer in their family or they feel like like I I want to be here to say that I feel you. Mm. And that's why I want to keep it real with just what where I'm at and that's all I can subscribe to. Mm. All I can talk about is my experience and where I'm at. And if that can be of assistance or help to anyone that's been in the shoes that I've been in, um, then that makes it more fulfilling. I mean, mm. money is it's great. <laughs> it's amazing. This is really it's great. amazing. But it ain't everything. It's not everything. Because when you live at the top of the building and you can look at the city, but you're alone, it means nothing. You talking some shit. You might be a little sm- smizz, but no, no, I'm that's some real, real shit. But you, the way you I've said it, and you paused, <laughs> and you paused, it was just. I've been in that situation. I've had a beautiful apartment in in the top of a building, and looked at the lake and the city, and but when you're alone and and you cry tears still, what the fuck does it matter? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so I just want everyone to to know that, and and and. People are bigger than me that say this, you know, I have more money and power and fame and success and careers, you know, you can, but maybe you look at them and you go, ah, but you don't really understand. Like you lavish, you go on a private jet, like Mm. you don't get it. No, for real. Like for real, I'm telling you, like, this is, this is more than that for me. And so when, when, when I can, when I can take the opportunity to, the opportunity, the space, and the the comfort, and, and a safe space to, to talk about things, I really will because it's for me. It's not about all of the um, the vanity. Mm. I'm living a real life. I don't know about anyone else. This is real for sure. Yeah. Yo, I I enjoyed this conversation. Thank you. I this- appreciate you finding me. This is good, man. Oh, so yeah. Um, can you follow me back? I always do this on camera. <laughs> I do this. Yeah. Can you say it's not about the vanity? You said, oh, you gave all that good speech. Yeah. Can you follow me back? No, you yeah. Back. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Gemini season. Cheers. <laughs> Even though people like to hate on us. Yeah. I do that. I'm looking at you on your phone. It's still right there, though. You see how I wait? Well, to I was cheersing. Camera. I had to oh, no, drink no, my drink. You didn't even. Come on. No, nah, I, I drink. drink. Uh, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm with you. And only because it's your birthday. Yeah. Nobody will ever come on my show and tell me when we're going to wrap this just up. Just edit this night. I'm just letting you know. No, no, no. No, it's jokes. I, it's I jokes. thought I was It's jokes. Rambling. No, stop, stop, stop. No, I really thought, like, I was like, ooh, I'm it's doing jokes. too much. It's jokes. No, no. But no. I had to say the little it's jokes. Thing, it's so. jokes. It's jokes. Let me, let me get my joke off. Let me Let me get my... She, she did it again. <laughs> she gonna wake me up and just tell me dude, it's my fucking show. <laughs> she gonna come over here, but because it's your birthday, I'm gonna let you have it. I don't wanna mess up. The, okay, sorry. <laughs> no, nah, stop. Don't say you sorry. <laughs> Damn, don't no. Don't say you sorry. <laughs> listen, okay. Yeah, listen, you done opened up the can of worms, so here we are. Yo, you got the long hair. Hold on, sister. We now we ain't wrapping up yet. You got it up because you about to go on a birthday trip. Really, really it's, well. it's not because people keep comparing you to um. It's not because people keep <laughs> comparing you to uh, Nia Long and Megan Good. Oh, I love that. You love that? Yeah. What? Nia Long's on my vision board. Love Jones. Okay. I want to I wanna do a black love story. Yeah, yeah. Nia Long and Megan Good is. Yeah. And Megan they two Good's good like ones to big be compared to. Yeah. That's like big. You talk to her. Yeah. I, have, I mean, I have her number. Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't. Come on. Like, I don't talk to her, but. You got her um, number, though. No, no, no. Don't try to don't try to backpedal. No, but she's amazing. She's, yeah. she's, I can say a woman in this industry that is a little bit older than me and, and that has really taken me, um, like she's really that girl. Yeah. She really is like sis. And like, she's living free right now. Like, she's having this. too much fun. Like, be you like, yeah. She's having too much fun. She's dope. Yeah, she is. She's dope. This is great, man. This is yeah. a great conversation. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we was able to have this sit down. I appreciate you. I thank you um, so much for real. Mm-hmm. Uh, thanks to Momager as well for bringing you. Um, that's it, man. Saraya, J Hill, J Hill Podcast. It's a wrap. We out.